We have another world record. This time it's the 100 meter backstroke 48.58. Clement Kolesnikov of Russia broke the 100 meter backstroke leading off the 4x1 medley relay at the ISL Championships in Budapest, Hungary. And in this video today, we're gonna watch the race, the full race, uninterrupted. We're just gonna watch the 100 backstroke actually. Then we're gonna replay it and we're gonna break down the stroke. We're gonna see how he was able to swim so fast with a little bit of a technical analysis. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. We're gonna watch the race and our man with the plan, he's gonna be right here. Keep an eye on him. And in the 100 meter backstroke leading off the relay, relays are fun, but you know, each individual gets a fair chance. Backstroke counts as a world record just because you're gonna get a clean start and a finish. Unlike a relay takeoff or breaststroke butterfly or, or freestyle. Uh, he's right there. Keep an eye on Ryan Murphy though, in the lane above him. I think he actually led him at some point in the race. Ryan Murphy is the Olympic champion in the event. World record holder, I believe is like 51 in the long course version. He goes out in a 23.7, but that's actually our friend Ryan Murphy. He was just a couple tenths behind him, or a couple hundreds. He was 23.80 on the way out. Uh, he's from Mother Russia, and you know they've got a great swimming legacy. You might be familiar with the Russian rocket about two decades ago. He was a superstar then. Here's a su new superstar, and we dive into the breaststroke. We're gonna go ahead and rewatch the race now, and we're gonna break down a few things to see just how he's swimming so fast. Keep in mind, this guy's only 20 years old. He shatter, he breaks the world record going. Uh, what a monster. All right, let's break it down. Here he is. Now, one other thing I want you guys to pay attention to is the stroke count. You know, on these analysis videos, I love talking about stroke count. On this first 25, he was 10 strokes. Now, let's keep that number in mind. He's right there. Keep it in mind, he's 10 strokes. Not really pushing the 15 meter mark that hard on any of the 25s. Doing a little circle swimming, actually. That's not what you wanna do. On the second 25, he takes 11 strokes. It's pretty, pretty average, actually. Um, so as you can notice, going up a little bit, not as much fresh speed. Um, but he's right, he's right there, and he's doing pretty well. Good head position. So he was 10, then he was 11, he was 12 on the third 25. And he pushed, you know, about half, well, not halfway, but about, yeah, 12 meters underwater. And coming into the final 25, he was 12 strokes. So what can we, you know, analyze out of this? The fact that he was, you know, 10, then 11, then 12, then 12 again. You know, a lot of swimmers actually fall off a lot more than that. You know, a lot of swimmers, you know, if they're gonna start out at 10, you know, they might go 10, 11, 12, 13, or 14, or 15. My God, we've seen some serious drop-offs. But no, he's able to maintain pretty consistent, and because of that, we have to look at his splits. So how did he split the race? He was a 23.80 on the way out. And on the way back, he was a 24.78. So this guy's got a lot of back half speed. He's not really the most pop. He's not gonna win in a 25 meter backstroke. Maybe he would, but he's definitely not the fastest to 15 meters. So a little bit of, of room for improvement, actually. When you're the world's best, it, it goes to show that there's always room to improve. And really, he's defining the world on this second 50, going up 24.78. Let's go ahead and compare this to uh, the, the previous world record by Xu. I believe he's from China. And in 2018, he was able to go a, what was the world record? He was a... 40, well he was, no, hold on, back up, sorry guys. So <laughs> he was 23.76 uh, on the way out, and then he was 25.12. Now, uh, our man over here, he was in 2020, he was able to come back, well we know he went out in a 23.8, but on the way back he was a 24.78. I mean that is absolutely, Amazing. So to go 24.78 on that second 50 is amazing, and that's why he's defining the field. But this actually isn't that uncommon for this swimmer because in 2017, when he broke the world record for the first time as a 17 year old, can you imagine that? He was back in a 24.8. So he's gotten faster on both the first 50 and the second 50. And I think as he develops and he becomes a stronger athlete, he becomes more efficient. He works on his underwaters. He probably gains a little bit of muscle. Maybe he gains a little bit of weight. He is gonna be a man to watch in 
short course as well as long course because the, quite frankly, the fact that he's able to come home in a 24 anything is remarkable. No one's doing this. No one's going home in a 24, at least in the short, in the short course or the long course version. And so if he can do this and go out a little bit faster, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we see, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if we see, you know, 48.4 or 48. Point three from this swimmer in just the next few years. If you guys remember, Ryan Murphy was a 43.4, uh, which is absolutely insane. I did a full analysis of Ryan Murphy's backstroke technique. That's a different video. We look at his stroke from a lot of different angles, and heck, we might be doing an analysis video on this guy because his stroke is really clean, he's really consistent, and he's obviously got the foundation to maintain his speed all the way through. Time will tell if he can pull it off in the 100 long course version. But yeah, Ryan Murphy was a 43.4. Um, backstroke underwaters are super fast. But if you just convert, you know, what do you think Ryan Murphy's 43.4 would be? You know, I, yeah, I mean, I would say it'd be about a 48 low. I mean, definitely it'd be, it'd be 48 something. So to see uh, another swimmer from Russia at the ISL championships go so fast is really, really fun to watch. But hopefully you guys got a little bit of insight on how some of the best swimmers in the world are able to go so fast, particularly in the backstroke. And he did it leading off a relay. I mean, can you imagine that? Diving in, knowing that you have the lead and the, the guy that you dove over, he just broke the world record. Can't really do better than that. And that's what he was able to do for his team, the Energy Standard, here at the ISL Championships in Budapest, Hungary. Hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, be sure to like this video. We really appreciate it. And if you haven't already joined the My Swim Pro Facebook group, it's gonna be linked in the description below. You might ask, what the heck is that? Why would I do that? There are thousands of swimmers from over 100 countries who are passionate about swimming faster and smarter than ever before. You can connect with me, the My Swim Pro team, and other swimmers who are swimming faster getting better, sharing best practices, and we share some exclusive content in that group as well. So that's why you definitely want to join. We've got beginner swimmers, former Olympians, everyone in between. They're all in the group. And if you haven't already checked out the My Swim Pro app, that is available for iOS and Android. It's got training programs, workouts for both in the pool and out of the water to help you improve your performance and health. We do it in dry land and in the pool, of course, open water, throw it all in there, nutrition, everything you could think of. It's all there in the app, in that Facebook group, and in this community. So thank you again so much for your time. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and happy swimming.